from Gidry Snap SM. This evening, it's the ninth-ranked Northwestern State Demons facing the Nichols State Colonels. And as for these two here tonight, Nichols has certainly been a bit of a surprise, and Northwestern State has got it going. Oh, Northwestern State is on a roll, Bill. Five wins in the last five weeks, going 5-1 right now. But uh, I tell you, this team, the Colonel State, Nichols State Colonels, they'd like to be an upset-minded football team, just 3-3, three and three, but uh, they bring an offensive attack that's kind of tough to deal with. Western State, a varied offense, but make no mistake, they really make their money with the run game, and they've got some guys that can tote the pigskin in Sheldon Sampson and Derek Johnny. Tailbacks, hey, they're a one-two punch, and which one they go with, it's just a matter of who has the hot hand. Hey, they're a very balanced offensive attack, but both these guys have great speed, great ability, and they get that running game going, and they will challenge the Colonel's defense. Yeah, we'll do a good job running the ball, but it all starts with the quarterback. Yale Vinoy is a junior. Hey, this is his sixth game on the year, doing a good job running that offense. Hey, he's got to do the right thing, get it to the right guy, and I know one guy he'll get it to is Colt Coletti. Hey, he's a senior tailback now for this football team, a fullback last year. He is stout, and he's a great runner, Bill. So this to the other side for Northwestern State and their defense has been stout thus far, but what about handling the triple option? Lisa Jenkins has more from the sideline. No doubt, Bill, the Demons, uh, the Colonels have a huge test ahead of them here tonight, and that's because the Demons Purple Swarm defense has linebackers and huge playmakers like Jamal Johnson and Fred, and I'm sorry, Paul Mefford. The Paul Purple Swarm ranks number one in Division One AA in total defense and rushing defense. And the Colonels have to watch out because the Swarm can score too. Five players on their defense have already scored this year. Bill, back to you. All right, very much. Uh, they've got a very powerful offense, averaging around 30 plus points a game. And then, as she mentioned, the defense scoring as well. Welcome back to Gidry Stadium in Thibodeau, Louisiana, the home of Nichols State and the Colonels, who come in with a record of three and three. Northwestern State five and one, the Dean and number nine in both Division One AA polls. In fact, three of the Southland teams are in those One uh, AA polls. Another strong year for the Southland Conference, Gary. Yeah, so far in these uh, Northwestern State Demons at five and one, coming off a first season loss, but a very close loss to Division One A Louisiana Lafayette. Other than that, the, the Colonels have rolled, and Scott Stoker's a big reason for their success. Other sideline, you've got first year man Jay Thomas replacing Daryl Day right before the start of the season, and three and three in his first campaign as the head coach. But he's been a part of the rebuilding process here at Nichols as he came aboard in 99. That was an assistant at Southeast Missouri State in Cape Girardeau. Well, Nichols State won the toss bill. They deferred to the second half of the Demons. Obviously elect to receive the football. Western State and the quarterback, the veteran, as Vincent comes on, junior from Kilgore, Texas, a transfer from Baylor and passing for 52% completion rate. The offensive local burger in King. King, one of the most athletic of the group. And the backs and the receivers, we told you a little bit about Sampson. And Ziegler's a guy that can do it with the pass or the run. Western State gives Vincent a lot of opportunity to, to run that offense, and they do a great job protecting him. First to 10 from the 33. Vincent rolls out to throw and nearly picked off. Vincent rolls out to throw and nearly picked off and frankly should have been picked off in the secondary that time as Henry Johnson, who's already got three picks this season, did everything but pick off number four. They had a couple of picks a week ago in that football game. You're going to see your little play action pass and just a straight roll. Henry Johnson, the cornerback, just comes up underneath the ball here. I don't think that uh, the quarterback Vincent ever saw him on it. And he's, a pretty good ten. Hand. He's, a, yeah. he's a pretty good defensive back back there. That's down and 10 from the 33 yard line now. And the pitch to Sampson. Sampson shreds one. 45 50. Turning it on. Sampson at the 30. Sampson. And he is bumped out of bounds near the 10 yard line. When you're six foot, 230 pounds, which is what Sheldon Sampson is, is when you break through the line and you're running away from the defense, that is impressive. Good job here in the secondary of trying to close down on him. But a great run by Sampson. Huge hole for him to run through the line. 57 yards on the scamper by Sampson. Brown making that tackle up front. Young, as well as Robertson and Pyle. The linebacking core, Brown, Vavila, and Williams. And the secondary, we mentioned Johnson with three interceptions so far this season. And Tommy Lee Brown has got a pair of picks. And number 10, David Willis, a strong safety. He 
On defense, it spearheads that Colonel D. Second down and five for the Demons on the first possession. Sampson taking a couple with him. Just a lead play here and going to take downhill and good hat on hat there. Personal foul called against uh, the Colonel's defense. Personal foul called against uh, the Colonel's defense. And I think they'll enforce that bill after. Coming in averaging 39 and a half points a game and they are as billed so far. 7-0 over Nickel State. After an offense here for the Colonels and led by their quarterback, Yale Benoy, out of Kingsville, Texas, and a three-year starter, and that experience means so much as he's also thrown for a couple of touchdowns in addition to the ability to run the football. And there's the big fellas up front and the backs and the receivers. Coletti, 404 yards rushing, their leading rusher on the season. Three reasons, Lisa Jenkins with you here tonight in Thibodeau. And a motion is Coletti. And Vanoy back to pass. It got a man. It's wide open at the 50 and the 20 yard line. Paisans, he will score. Touchdown, Nickel State. How about that? The Bill, it's one of those things when you have the triple option attack that the Colonels do. You're going to you're going to spend a lot of effort stopping. That's what they've done in Northwestern State, bring a lot of people to the line of scrimmage. You see nobody out in the middle of the field where Plaisance is going to run to. Yale Vinoy has an easy throw and catch here by Plaisance. Good speed. This is a big playmaker for this offense. David Plaisance gets the, the Colonels on the board and chance here to tie this ball game up. Ground game and that 80-yard pass play, a chance to tie. Jay Jones with a point after, and he booms it through. So Nichols State... Yeah, they can pitch it, pitch it overhand. 7-7. Seven, seven. You're watching it all on FSN. <laughs> you want offense? We got it here. 80 yards in the pass play. Oh, look at all the demons up front here. All the white shirts up there trying to get a yell. Vinoy to think that they're going to run the football. But David Plaisance comes from the offense's opposite side, and nobody covers him. And great throw and catch here. Easy score for the Colonel. And Plaisance, you mentioned big plays, Gary, in the passing game. That's his seventh reception. His previous six for 125 yards. So he has averaged over 20 yards per catch, and that'll give it a big bump with an 80-yarder, of course. He's an all <laughs> Vincent, play action. Got protection, then creamed. Deep ball, and it is caught inside the 20 yard line and he's been averaging 6.7 a carry sampson averages 6.5 a carry willis stopped him that time and then an 80 yard play to play sans for the td reception for nichols and now bouncing back is clark for another touchdown for northwestern fsn flashback a couple of years ago yeah we talked about david plays making big plays this is in a punt return here a couple of years ago against these same demons and this young man shows that he can make play after play here for this football team and then another hit here by number 10 we talked about there's a big turnover and that's the way the hitting needs to be out there on the football field i think it's going to be more of the game we'll see tonight here a couple of teams are going to be very physical. now first of all for northwestern ed queen 254 sophomore is the sack leader in the southland conference with six on the year their linebackers are all solid Mefford leads them with 46 tackles. Woods and Johnson with 45 apiece. And the secondary, Pittman, has got three interceptions. He is a junior at the corner spot. Option attack here for the Colonels. Second and 14. Van Oyer the pitch to Coletti. 35, trying to turn the corner. Got tripped up at the 40-yard line. And Coletti is stopped by Johnson. Well, it's one, two, three assignments here. First, you got to take care of the run game inside. That's the dive to the fullback. Here's number one. He's got two to the quarterback and three outside here, which is how they get it to Coletti. And Coletti's got enough speed. Was a fullback a year ago, but he's a strong player and a strong runner and protecting that football. I don't think you're going to pull the ball out of his hands too many times. We'll talk about him and his strength later on in this football game. But Colt Coletti's a guy they want to have the ball in his hands 15, 20 times a night. He bends it. John East is the running back, and he gets the carry, bounces it to the outside. Fumble, and a loose football. It looks like Nichols has recovered. Yes, they have. The Colonels have possession. Well, Gary, you mentioned about having turnovers and how key they missed on an INT opportunity, but not this time. Well, I'm talking about reverse fumbleitis, and that's what I'm talking about. Take care of the football on offense for the Colonels and try to force some turnovers on the defensive side, and that's exactly what they do here. 
Robertson, I believe, is the man. Watch 92 come in your picture there. Good job at time stripping to John East. Pull it out there. That's Michael Young, I think, making the making the tackle there, Bill. 93, 91 on the top there. And good job of getting that ball out. Hey, on an 80-yard pass play from Benoit to Plaisance. Benoit wants to throw here and does, and it is picked off. Woods with the interception for the Demons. Flags are everywhere as Woods has brought down near the eight-yard line. Side here, you got a couple receivers. They're going to get knocked around at the top of there. See both one of them on the ground, and the ball is thrown, and Bruce Woods steps into it and makes a good, uh, good catch. I think he'll get a block in the back. Is probably the penalty here on the return. On the return, came after the interception. You see the block penalty come in right around to you right there. That's where you're talking about. McMillan. Moore with a handoff. Nope, faked it. Play action. Rolls into the end zone and then completes it out near the 10 yard line. And third down and a dozen now. And again, that play clock nearly expired. Get out the face, get out the face, get out. And the pass is incomplete. Right through the hands that time of Ziegler. His catch. Watch him come down the field and work inside here between the middle of the defense and watch the hit here. The ball's right there and then the hit at the end. That's what David Willis brings to this defense. Toby Ziegler probably thinking about old David Willis as he comes across there. Though. Well, you're going to get some of it. Might as well catch it. That's what coaches will tell you. Well, he saw it out of the ear hole, that's for sure. And now a, the yeah, punt. That, yeah, that would have been a first down. Safety play is going to be huge in this game for Washington. He's coming up and running the alley pretty well. Second and 12. Benoit. Got a man. It's play Sons. And he catches in the five. He scores. Again. Play Sons with a TD. Bill, I talked about Russ the free safety and he's going to run the alley real well but he guessed wrong this time and David Plaisance comes right across his face and you're going to watch here watch this alley run right here and watch Plaisance run right past him and he's turning and running and he can't catch him good job of execution that time by the Colonels on the play action pass once again 34 yards on the pass play and Vanoy and Nichols State living through the air with a pair of TD passes the point after by Jones is good and we'll start all over it's 14 14 here in Thibodeau you had on one of your reasons to watch something about Bayou Magic yeah that's what it is a little Bayou Magic down here a little chance to do something against uh, this team whenever they come down here to, to Nickel State and Thibodeau and South Louisiana special things happen sometimes for their football team and this is what's going on right now David Plaisance a young man from South Louisiana himself doing a good job getting open in the play action passing game the Illinois saying hey I got a I don't throw it a lot, but when I have a chance to throw it, I want to do things like this. And he's completed three passes tonight, Bill. Two to his uh, offense to David Plaisance and one to the Demon defense. And Plaisance comes through with his third touchdown reception, his fifth score of the season overall. And Vanoy now with his second TD pass tonight, and that has matched his total coming in. Nickel State. And the student crowd excited about the action here at Guidry Stadium. That's fun football. This South and throwing the football, that's not what you expect from a Jay Thomas and, uh, and his football team. They're predominantly a triple option attack running the ball. They've done that for years, and uh, it's been a, been a great model for success for them here over the last several years. Wilcox. Boy, he booms it again. Ziegler. There's no thank you. I'm for picking them to win this year, aren't they? And the uh, sports information directors uh, win a different direction the preseason poll. And Northwestern on the first to 10 from the 20, Fitzpatrick makes the tackle. Brian, a sophomore from Louisville, Texas. When you want to fill a hole, Bill, that's what you want to do. You want your linebacker to run through there. Nobody blocks him, and they get back there and make a play on Sampson. And good job here by the Colonel's defense. This one is complete, complete to John S. And, oh, did he come to an abrupt halt that time as Johnson was there and also Fitzpatrick again, I believe, made yeah. the big hit. A little high-low that time. Henry yeah. Johnson low and then Fitzpatrick over the top. Fitzpatrick playing middle linebacker with Vavil. Trading out series here. And a little throw outside. And just when you get the ball out there, the defense is taught run the ball. Henry Johnson, the first one there. And then take a look inside and get your middle linebacker coming. That's a pretty good hit. They do get the first down, and it's first and 10 at the 32. 
play action in the draw play and the stop made on John S. by Williams. Good job at the point of attack. The offense trying to come down. He'll use that power of that offensive line. The, the Demons have a good, experienced offensive line. They've got good size up there, 290, 300 pounds of crates. 14-14 here in Thibodeau, Louisiana. Bill Andrews. Here, Vincent to Bonner and Henry Johnson forced to come up and make another low tackle on the big throwback. A big future for him here. They see the speed, obviously, that he has. That's why they run reverses to players like this. But good job by Henry Johnson forcing the action and good job by the Colonel defense of swarming the football. Set the stage for this one. And it's tied at 14, second and 15 following the penalty at the 45 of the Colonels. Demons quarterback, Vincent. Fakes the handoff, got a man deep, intercepted. It was intended for Mosby. Johnson with the interception. He's at the 40. And the ball knocked back, and it is caught again by Nichols State. And this time, Ogletree hangs on to it, is tackled at the 45-yard line. Well, that was a heck of an interception that time by Henry Johnson playing center field, comes across, and I don't think he's trying to run behind and catch up. Watch the play action pass here, throws it down, and you're going to see Henry Johnson come across the field and right there underneath the receiver, and Mosby was not there. The ball was under three. Hit, folks. I think it's Doyle. Yeah, not. No, that's no. that's your fullback, your tailback, Derek Johnny's with the big hit there, and then Ogletree comes up with it. Huge play that time by the Colonel defense, and that's a heck of a hit there that time by your tailback. <laughs> Johnson looked like, where'd that ball go? And then Ogletree hangs on. The good news is Henry Johnson's up and walking along the sideline here, and uh, looks like he's going to be okay. That's a Huge hit that time by John East, but a big turnover here for the Colonel defense. So, Nickel State gets it back. First, is really one of the best in Division I AA college football. They've played great all year long. Second and ten, and flags again everywhere. They're going to free play this, though, I believe. And it is complete down inside the 35, inside the 25-yard line. Let's see if they bring it back or not. Bill, this is what teams do. They do this automatically. If they find they catch a player inside the neutral zone, which the Demons were, they realize the flag is going to come out. They're going to get a big a free play here, five yards in. Anyway, they see the defense offside. It's automatic. Throw it down the field and try to make something on the defense. Try to get one of the defenders to kind of lay All low, side. and that's exactly what on happens. The defense, number 92, the penalties decline. First down. Marcus Richardson certain to find that and throwing the ball down the field. 37-yard field goal attempt for Jones. He's five of six this year, as long as 44. Wilcox is the holder. 37-yard attempt to give Nickel State the lead. Good snap. Kick has plenty of leg, and it is good. So Nickel State takes the lead for the first time. 17-14. Over Northwestern State at the half. Second half about to begin. But first of all, Lisa Jenkins had a chance to visit with the head coach of the Demons, Scott Stoker. Stats, Gary, and there's certainly an interesting story there. It really is. Look at this, 145 yards passing for Nickel State. That's not the norm. Now, they normally run the ball very well, but they haven't got that going. The Demons turnover, Scott Stoker talked about it here, three turnovers on the half. That's not something that they can do here in the second half and expect to win this game. A lot of penalties against that Northwestern State offense, miscues, and i tell you, the Colonels are taking, uh, taking full advantage of it, putting points on the board, taking advantage of the, the field position, and going to get the ball here to start the second half. This is a team that is leading the league in rushing at 259 per game that was held to just 22 yards rushing. But look at the length of the plays. Well, 80 yards in the touchdown. That's a huge pass play to start the football game, the first play of the game for them. But David Plaisance from Yale, Vinoy, and then three plays in punt, interception, and for the Nichols. Nichols, uh, Colonels with a 17-14 lead and a little look-in pass on that first down. And the way they started the ball game was play Sons is again the receiver and close to a first down. Yeah, that's perfectly off of Plaisance. And Vanoy picks it up. Fake pitch and a pass and is complete with a flag thrown. Oko Scott Stoker on the Demon sideline. Bobo tells you no, he's not happy with the official call, but you know he's not happy with his football club as he mentioned to Lisa there about the penalties and the mistakes this team has made. 
You know, this defense coming in here, Bill, we talked about it earlier, ranked number one in Division One AA in total defense. A lot of pride out there, and whenever you get three yard line. Wilcox kicks, Ziegler fumbles it, and it looks like the Colonels have got the football. Let's see as they unpile. Yeah, they're going to give it to the, to the Colonels. Nickel State comes up with that muff punt by Ziegler. Ball came down, Bill. It was kind of an end-over-end kick, but it went right off his chest, and it bounced right back towards the Colonels covering the kick. If you, you look at Nichols and say, don't get out of what you do, because you just might get one this way. Well, the ball bounces down, and you see you're right there on the bottom. It's probably number 56 for the Colonels coming up with that ball and players that, I, that I've seen play. And just a little bit of a look at him here in the weight room. This is Colt Fletty. This is yesterday, 225 pounds. Just knocking it out. I mean, that, that's simple work for him. Can you keep count, folks? Is that a strong young man? That's Colt Fletty. I'm breathing hard just watching. He's <laughs> on, and the Demons will go back in the return formation and... I beg your pardon. Miller, the deep man. And this one bounces inside the three-yard line and is down there by Nichols State. So, so Nick Reason's in on the play. <laughs> As uh, the Reason's Bowl we got down here in the Bayou. Timeout is called 17-14 Nichols State. We're here, nice little establishment in Thibodeau is going to stay open for us and looking forward to the festivities after the game. I well, just covered your tab. First and <laughs> 10 from the two for Northwestern State. And Morrell in trouble, and he is tackled in the end zone. It's a safety for the Colonels as Brown comes up with the big play. Tommy Lee Brown, a flag is thrown, though. Well, huge play here for the Colonel defense. Tommy Lee Brown, a cornerback, coming off the right side, making a tackle in the end zone. It's possibly going to be a, get a holding penalty, but uh, let's watch him sort out. Here's the play. Well, here's Brown on the outside, number nine. He's going to make the play here, and now well, there's the push in the back. It's going to be on the tailback. Shelton Sampson, hands in the back. It's going to go against Northwestern State. This is going to be a safety against that football team. There's Shelton Sampson, 28. You see the push in the back, and well, they might have tried to call it intent, you know, intentional grounding if that was the case. We have tripping on number 79 on the offense. We have intentional grounding on the quarterback in the end zone. The ball did not go past the line of scrimmage. We have safety. Interception, the three fumbles and penalties, and then now the safety against them. Those are things you can't do on the road to win, especially in this conference. And we talked about the Bayou magic down here for the Nichols State. And uh, in the country not showing, uh, you know, I guess putting their best effort out right now. Good David LaBeouf, big senior, good. He's up and going. And Tight end. Landrum will come on to replace him. Well, with his blocking offense they have, he's the best tight end they've had. Time. They really like him. He's uh, a tough player. They're physical and plays well on that line of scrimmage. And hopefully they'll get him back in the ball game. Mississippi. Van Oy going in the passing game, and it is complete. This is Landrum, and he scores. Well, you talk about Jared Landon coming in there, the freshman, 6'2", 230-pounder. I talked about David LaBeouf being a great at-the-line-of-scrimmage player. Well, this is what Jared Landrum does for them. Hey, he's a stretch-the-field kind of a tight end, and he comes in there, and all of a sudden, hey, go ahead and throw it down the field. you got to be a tough quarterback. Throw the football, and bingo, the helmet comes off. Whoa. The pressure by the defensive line by Northwestern State. That's a good hit, folks. But this is a heck of a catch here after the rebound. I thought the Northwestern State would intercept that ball pretty easily. It was underthrown because of the pressure. But Jared Landrum 
bringing in a nice play and a huge play here for North for the for the Colonels. And the first reception of the go, year is go. a 54 yard touchdown catch. The point after is good by Jones and the Colonels up a dozen 26 14. Welcome back to Gidry Stadium in Thibodeau, Louisiana, where Nichols State 26-14 lead over Northwestern State. And doing it not with the triple option, but the passing game. And now it's almost in the, in the end zone. Here's Landrum. Here he's going to work down and get down the field. And the quarterback fakes back here. And then you see the pressure of the defense. He sees a big pressure by the offensive line. Pretty good contact there. And you have Russ Washington and Prentice West, 30 and 14 there. Neither one of them can come up with the football. Jared Landrum just gets the rebound and takes it into the end zone. And I'm going to play quarterback in this league. You have to take a lick like this. Oh. Yell Vinoy. Looks like he's holding Tough grip. 6'3, 220 pounder gets back up. And that's what you got to do. Look at the numbers for him, Bill. 5 of 11, 210 yards. Yards. And huge, huge games. You know, passing plays and touchdowns. And Northwestern State lost on this first down play on a first to ten as Shelton Sampson stopped by Michael Young. Talk about momentum. That's going to inspire the defense to play and play well. And Sampson, the lone back behind the quarterback, Vincent, to throw it. Drills it in, intercepted. Again, the turnover coming up. Tommy Lee Brown, first to safety, now a pick. And Brown has his third interception of the season. It's all at this moment. Well, when you play man coverage and you want to play what you call trail technique, that's exactly what Tommy Lee Brown does. Number nine here, he is inside of the receiver. Watch him undercut that football right there. Does a nice job. He's trailing the receiver, but his eyes are turned around. He sees the fly to the ball. Ball actually probably a little bit underthrown, but still not going to get through Tommy Lee Brown. And free safety coming over thought he was going to have a play on that ball as well. Huge play here again. Another turnover against his demon offense. From its own 30-yard line. Vanoy, fake to the fullback, 35-40, watch out here, he turns it on to 45-40, and out of bounds, near the 33-yard line, Yale Vanoy, who's had a huge passing night, now turns on the running game, Woods made the stop. Well, this is just a follow behind your fullback in here. Take a look, he follows right behind, they take him and he gets right up here. Good job by Plaisance and a black. Linebacker allows him to get into the secondary. Hey, this 6'3", 220-pounder can run, Bill. Big big quarterback rambling down the field. His best rushing night was 82 yards on 15 carries in the last outing. Lost to Sam Houston State. Here's what he's done tonight. 41 on the ground, 211 in the air. Have a play calling and executing this offense and just trying to get first down in big plays here. And they've done the big plays with the, in the passing game. Now they're chewing up against this purple swarm defense and yards on the ground. And when you start blocking well up front, you're going to be able to move the ball. And that's what this offense is like. It's going to just keep pounding at you. Watch the line play here. Big Jacob Benner, number 77 on the right side. Here, let's take a look at him, see what he does. A little clean out block there on, on Troy, Torrey Collins, number 51. Big Benner, he's a good story. 6'6", 280 pounder. Well, this drive started on the 30. It's all been on the ground. Sure. Will Jay Thomas go ahead and run his offense and try to get that first down, or will he take that field goal? That would put him up uh, 29 to 14, which would be 15 points or two scores at least for Northwestern State. He gets to attempt at a fourth down conversion tonight. You see on the season they've had problems there. The pitch, Coletti, he'll score. Touchdown, Colonels. Oh, my goodness. Well, thinking about that inside running game, which is what they've been doing here the last few plays, trying to get that first down. No, they're not going to do that inside. Quarterback reads it downhill. You see the pitch man taking. You see the tail quarterback taking, but nobody is left for the pitch. Good job of blocking out here by Marcus Richardson, number eight. Anybody to come in on Cole Coletti. Nice, easy score for the Colonels. And the Colonels up with the touchdown. And now for the PAT, Jay Jones again. Wilcox in the hole, Jones. Nice catch by our cameraman. <laughs> he did. Hey, who is what that? Ender. Good hand. Greg up there. It's a Bayou Magic. 33-14. <laughs>